Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to show how to make uh, keto garlic bread. Um, I tried it last week and it came out really well so this time I thought I could share it with you all. So two cups of mozzarella cheese and that. I used two whole cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, Kraft, this is what I used. And um, uh, two ounces of, uh, four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, this one, and uh, about three tablespoons of butter. So here's three tablespoons of salted butter. Probably cut it into pieces. And this. Okay. So I want to melt all of this in the microwave for about a minute and then check it and another, add another half a minute, okay? So after that, meanwhile, we'll do the dry ingredients as we put this in the microwave. So for the dry ingredients, I would like to mix everything here. I'm using about one cup of almond meal and that blue diamond almond meal that I'm using. So one cup of that and then a quarter cup of coconut flour. It's optional if you do not want to use coconut flour, you don't have, you can add just about a quarter of um, almond flour again. So this is quarter cup of it. And two tablespoons of protein powder. So I had this, I had this vegan protein. Uh, Vega one got it from giant I guess so I'm using two tablespoons one and two tablespoons of protein powder so baking salt is optional if because the garlic powder that we're going to add that has salt too so check it I want two tablespoons of garlic powder so that's one and maybe just a little bit more, more than half, not exactly two, but if you want, you could use two also. Uh, salt, about a quarter of it, not more, quarter teaspoon, that's about it. And that's pink Himalayan salt that I am using here baking powder it's two teaspoons of baking powder so here's one and two teaspoons okay so that's baking powder now whisk all this together well cheese is melted if you see i'll put this down a little bit okay so Fold in this one, all the flour, and mix well. And protein powder, you can use anything. You can use any protein powder. Whey protein, if you have, you use that. I had vegan, so I'm using vegan plant-based protein powder. You can use uh, whey protein powder also, just two tablespoons. So mix this well, break into eggs and use your hands to form a nice dough, okay? So I'm going to break one egg here. And I actually added the flour to cool the temperature of the cheese, melted cheese, because you don't want any of that to cook the eggs. So now, use your hands to actually make this dough. Nice, so, now the smooth dough ball is formed. So what you do is, and I kneaded it with my hands, use a flat surface, a parchment paper or anything and try to press it with your hands. You can use a roller pen also. Um, so I'm doing it first with my hands. And So I have this ready, about half an inch in thickness. So here's the dough. 
and um, since it will rise up a little bit this is good thickness okay and it's again optional uh, so here's melted butter and about three cloves of garlic finely chopped and added what I wanted to use uh, is add some uh, parsley to it so I don't have fresh parsley so I'm using dried parsley flakes if you have fresh parsley chop fresh parsley in it okay so that's good enough and then we are going to grease the top with butter and garlic and parsley mix it's better if it's melted it's been sitting for a while so it's kind of a little bit thickened i think this is good so i'm gonna toss it for 30 seconds to get it or i can go like this it's okay evenly spread this all around and that should be good so here's the breadsticks uh, dough ready with garlic butter and parsley on top of it so I'm going to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes on 375 degrees Fahrenheit and again keep checking after like close to 20 you want little browner sides and little brown on the top you don't want it to be too much cook so keep checking towards the end of it all right so hey guys this is how the breadsticks look I left it extra five minutes after switching off the oven so it's about 25 minutes that I had on 375 so let's cut it and uh, you can make nice slices like breadsticks and you're good to go again the baking is option to you if you like um, lighter bread not so well done you can uh, leave it light okay so here's the platter ta-da and uh, see how good they look and uh, the coconut flour is also optional coconut flour kind of drains the moisture and makes it more tighter a uh, little bit drier too but if you don't um, it's healthy so I'm using but if you don't want to use that just use almond flour and make it so I'm gonna eat this now the taste fest I can smell the garlic mm. It's very delicious guys you can eat it with any sauce make a keto marinara sauce or anything and eat this it's very delicious I hope you like it and you'll go ahead and make this for yourself all right take care bye bye